Hello, and welcome to Carm 3D on the Tube. This video today is from a question I had on the New Tech forums, and was answered by Cell Shader. <laughs> and I wanted to thank her very much for her answering my question, and I will uh, forward this all to you in video form. So what I have here is a pretty basic setup with the cloth being draped or pulled over a ball here. You know, nothing revolutionary. My main goal was to be able to mix MDD data with displacement maps that you may make in ZBrush or whatever. And so this calculation was saved. Let me bring this panel up. I made this in cloth effects and it's using the MDD data right here. So if I want to add a displacement map, let's see, um, it's not going to work at this moment because of the way that the two conflict with each other. Okay, here's a real s basic setup, adding a displacement map. Okay, but uh, these two cannot work with each other. If I turn on cloth effects, you can see if I turn it on, it overrides the displacement map. So, here's how we can combine them. I'm going to turn off cloth effects. I'm going to use cloth effects in my displacement map in the nodes, and that would be using this guy here, the DP kit node set. And I'm going to use MDD pointer. Okay, I have my MDD selected in here. Plug it into there. Close that. And as you can see, no cloth effects going on, just the MDD pointer, and it's getting the same results. So now, I will go in the surface editor, and I will go into a bump map and you can see I applied a procedural texture to the bump map and now back in the objects properties I'm going to tell this to enable bump and give it a distance and uh, now everything should be working I think it's just a matter of choosing when everything happens like this like, uh, there we go. Set the subdivision order to after bones. And now you can see I have displacements and cloth effects going on at the same time. Very cool. And so, you know, in addition to making a silly animation like this, you can also use this for combining your ZBrush painted displacement map with. MDD data you get from animating in another program. If you have Messiah Studio or if you're using uh, XSI with uh, Point Oven, you can animate over there in those other programs, bring over the MDD file into Lightwave, and then your object will follow whatever you told it to do in the other programs, and then you add your displacement map to get all your wrinkles and cloth folds and other kinds of bumps and bulges and dents that you want in your object. Okay, that's it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>